Good morning. Most of us will never be famous or powerful. After many years, our classmates can probably be forgiven for not remembering all the special details that we hold. And if you come from a big family, you're probably really happy if your own mother can remember your name on certain days. But you know, it's still important to remember that each of us has a legacy, an imprint, an impression, one that lasts and that others remember. The book of Genesis in the Bible is full of women who do exactly that. They matter to God and they leave an impact on their community. Whether that impact is for good or for bad, they are remembered. There are a few well-known names in the book of Genesis, but I've been very surprised as I've read that there are many where only a very few details are recorded. But wow, what important details. I call these ladies women of promise. Why? Because they played key roles in determining who would inherit the promise of God for their own generation and those that would follow. The attention to such detail reminds us that female characters shape the descriptions and actions of the male characters and also entire communities. Think about that. I'd like to suggest that if we are to understand the role and function of many of a, the famous male characters in scripture and indeed if we want to understand who God is, we need to pay attention to these fine details. Pay attention to the roles and function of women in Scripture. And so the question I'd like to leave you for this week is this. What does it mean to be a woman of promise today? In my home, in my neighborhood, my core. How do the little details of my life, the things that I think are probably not very important at all, but are still noticed by other people, how did these details shape the life of others so that they can respond to God? God bless you as you think about these things this week. And until then, dream big.